hello guys welcome to jk fidelity tag today i want to just discuss the switch in a brief uh the issues that this switch normally have this switch you can see that uh, this is uh, one minute this is 3560 this is a switch so the problem that this switch has is it this switch normally have uh, has it has uh, always this uh, this area this is a uh, this this chip you are seeing is a uh, PoE chip this chip you are seeing all oh, this PoE transformer PoE this area is is in charge of the PoE so this one is this one also this one is a line uh, the line, uh, uh, this line, ASIC. This is ASIC. This is a port ASIC. Uh, this uh, this chip you are seeing here. One chip controls eight port. One chip controls eight port. Same like that. So this chip is line chip for the port. So this this one you are seeing here is for the PoE. Then this ones you are seeing here. I want to show you more. Oh, shit. This this two chip you're seeing here. This two chip you're seeing here. This two chip you're seeing here is called the RAM. The memory. This is a RAM. So they are in charge of this two chip you're seeing here. They are in charge of uh the, the the memory this uh, ram this ram you always hear about this this two chip is is the ram of this switch this ram always have problem and this particular one has a ram problem and we're going to show you the ram problem and how to how we're going to solve it and uh, it also have a uh, so whenever there's 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 a there's a PoE problem maybe there's you plug the PoE the, the some light is blinking here maybe orange light is breaking here when you plug the PoE uh, device you will need to check one of all this 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 chip this chip is the cause of the problem this this the chip this chip you're seeing here all this chip all this all this chip is very hard for the transformer to have problem this ones this chip to have problem and also this one this is always the cause of the problem then uh, this one is the main. Uh, this one here. Let me zoom. It. This this one here. This one here is the microprocessor. This one is the main processor of this switch. This one you're seeing here, and this one is the flash of the switch. This is where the information of the switch is in, installed. Is a flash. You can see that. One minute. Yeah, this is a flash. This is a flash. I'm sorry for the shaky of the the video. I this is an emergency kind of emergency video. I, I was not meant to do this. I'm just doing it in a hurry. So I wanna wanna one thing I have to do again. One thing that nobody has problem is that this is a power. This is a power. And what how do you remove the power? You just from the back. You put your hand from the back. You lift it up. When you lift it up, then you slide it backwards. And you rem you remove it. This is a cable here. This is a two power cable here. Okay. Another thing that has a problem that normally have problem in this switch is the fan. Look at the fan here. Look at the fan here. It has uh, three fan. One, two, close to the power supply. Then one again beside the switch. So these are the things that always have problem in this particular switch. So right now this switch has a amber problem the amber problem is you see all lights all amber lights coming here i'm going to show you right now when i plug in the power you will see this this coming amber 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 light all lights are on you can see that all lights are on you can see it's not moving it's not going anywhere at all so how to solve this problem is you on look at my 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 this thing, my machine here 
this is my machine my machine is on my heater we, it's called a workstation then what you're going to do you remove the power just hit hit one of the 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 the, the ram which is this one sorry for the shaky video hit one of the ram this i'm hitting the ram now then i plug in the power again it's now coming you can see it's now blinking see the difference so but me i just heated it for a few minutes so when you want, we want to work on this kind of problem what you're going to do is you have to heat it for 30 minutes make sure the 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 the, the heat is done it's not too much and don't bring it close to the the ram it's too much it hit it around 30 20 minutes it's going to come back to life so that is how you fix this kind of problem so this one i heated this one now if i remove it right now it's going to go back to the original state so what you're going to do you go to you're going to heat it up to like 20 25 30 minutes then everything is going to be okay again so like this now i just heated this for some seconds uh, it's going to return me for the time this this switch is going to be on if i remove the power again see here if i remove the power again i plug it back it will go back to the original problem because i just heated this for some seconds so you need time to come back to normal again so take 30 minutes 25 minutes and make sure you don't bring this this too much close to the switch to the sorry to the to the ram don't bring it too close and maybe around 350 degrees 380 400 degrees but don't bring it close don't be just like the same size of this mount the same size of this mount away from the away from the the something like this let me show you like this 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 like for example this is the this is the ram this one is the ram so when you want to hit it you just some like this far kind of far away from the ram like uh, some like uh, uh one inch one one and a half inch away from the ram then it's going to be fine like 30 minutes after hitting in 30 minutes it's going to come back to normal again so thank you